Hi there, welcome to another video. Today I'm in Stratford-on-Avon, which is where I'm from. And I used to play in these fields as a kid. And the idea was I was going to come and paint this view over there, looking towards the church, Holy Trinity Church, where Shakespeare's buried. And I've got up here, and of course, like everywhere else in Stratford, they're building. So there's diggers everywhere, massive, I mean, great big road going through there. So it's really sort of destroyed that view, unfortunately. So I've changed my mind, I'm now going to paint this view here, you can see behind me, uh, over towards the monument, you can see the monument at Welcome Hills is over there, and I would quite like this uh, tree here against, this, this, against that nice sky backdrop with all the mistletoe in it, uh, there's still a couple of diggers down there, well, I don't think I'll be including them, but you never know. So that's the idea anyway, and I'm going to paint it, it's going to be a quick one today, it's about 4 degrees, so it's a bit chilly, we're in the sun fortunately, it's just come out which is really nice. But uh, that's the idea behind today's uh, painting. So it's landscape painting today, Stratford on Avon. See how we get on. Using the similar palette to normal, although, so I've got my, I've just included a uh, Naples yellow here uh, for a change. That's that one. Uh, everything else is roughly the same. So I've got a warm white, a titanium white, which is a cheap one, which I was using at the workshop. Uh, lemon yellow, Naples yellow, you've got cadmium red magenta, india red, it's a bit of burnt umber, raw umber, raw sienna, here we've got, uh, that's violet, ultramarine blue, manganese blue, a little bit of sac green and some ivory black, I probably wouldn't normally put as many colours out as this, not quite as many as that, but I've got to add some left over from the workshop yesterday, so I thought I might as well just use them up, so, okay, let's see how we get on. We're on a a small sort of uh, 10 by 6 uh, panel which is like MDF and it's an old painting I'm painting over I've just put this yellow alkyd wash over the top to make it dry quickly and give me something to paint on and just sort of get rid of that painting which was a load of rubbish behind it and uh, yeah we're looking at that view over there so okay we'll be able to get cracking a bit of terps and uh, let's get that horizon line in place Let's get some raw umber. Let's run that across here. Something like something like this. Let's run that across there. That can go out. All that's there will land. That's the right, the skylarks singing away. You can pick that up in the mic, it's quite windy today at the top here, at the top of the hill, Ansel's farm. Uh, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to get this, this is like three horizontal strips here, aren't there? So let's, let's drop that down a bit lower, something like that. That's going to be that nice light area down here. So that's that in place. We've got that Naples yellow today. Let's just put some of this up here. That's manganese blue with the Naples yellow. is quite nice. Obviously a bit of white thrown in for good measure. I quite like that cloud actually. It runs diagonally across there at the moment. So we Let's, do, let's get that in place. We use, I think we're going to use the Naples yellow with the warm white for that and keep the brush as it is, quite a dirty brush. That's not quite, that's not right, that's nice violet though, quite like that. So I think we're going to have to make that a lot yellower, so that will go quite nicely against that uh, sort of violety colour that's just gone into the cloud there. Let's add a bit of uh, warmth into that with a bit of uh, cadmium red there, just at the top where it's uh, sort of running across like this. Don't want to go too thick here because I've got a 
with the paint because I've got to run those tree, that mistletoe and the tree across there. So we just want that bit of warmth across the top like this and the thicker the brightness is only in that top part of the cloud and that does just run across like that so now I'm using the paint fairly dry here so I know what I'll do that's quite nice actually because then that will allow me to run the yellow some yellow tin sort of uh, yellowy tinted clouds across there just drop a few of these in here because I quite like them like that so I'll bring those just into view a bit more something like that Let's get some paint on here now. This, the monument's going to go roughly there. Just painting this in, just roughly. Let's introduce a bit of uh, raw sienna into this area. So that's where our You've got some trees there, so lots of very similar colours and tones in there. So it's just mainly one mass of uh, very similar colours. That works quite nicely in there. I quite like that. It's a raw sienna, and I've got a bit of picking up a bit of the blue and violet on the brush which is quite nice this actually comes down like this so this actually comes down that's a bit should be lighter something like that let's get some paint on here in that with, with the turps that dries fast. I want to get this uh, area in place so I can get this foreground in. Yeah, that's more like what it should be along there. Something like that. Let's get this in. Let's get rid of that violety. Tinge. There's, or there is some violet in there, so actually that might be quite nice. I think what we'll do, we'll bring that, yeah, we'll make the, that little bit red there. That's like going to be a red triangle. Let's place that in, knock it back slightly. I think we'll have that quite deep actually in colour. I quite like that. Because everything else is quite soft, so we'll just have this nice little red triangle here. a minute, I just want to get something a bit, just a little bit darker in here, let's see what that looks like, let's just have something like that there, so in here we've got this, this is where the tree's going to start coming out, here, so we need to bring this out, like this, and then that just drops into the field in front. It's quite light, but we've got to make sure that is just a bit different to what we're putting on in here. 
and they've got these, uh, this is where the tree creeps in then, more of a yellow colour along here. And we can lose that edge, we don't need to see that edge coming down. And that means that, that dark, so we've got a dark darks in here this one just needs to come across more so this is like a burnt umber with a ultramarine blue something like that so there's a dark in there as well behind which you can just see through some of the trees like that so now let's just introduce a bit of this dark area up here So that's roughly in the right place. Something like that. Conifer tree in there. That runs across. Behind there, this is where we're going to just introduce a bit of that a bit of sap green now. We've got a tree here. This is the shadow side. And there's another one there. And a big area there, and that just pokes into the sky. And there's, a, there's these trees then just drop into this these colours randomly like this across there and into that I just want to put a bit of that yellow where the sun's catching some of them especially as it comes down here so we can always use, almost use a neat lemon yellow in there let's just do the same here see now I can see we've got a lovely lovely bright raw sienna type tree in there which goes in here that can just drop into this bit brighten that slightly I've, got, I've just made that too too big so I'm gonna bring that shadow area up I think some areas like that that's not really nice and yellow that runs across like that you don't get too fiddly you see now it's got to be careful as it changes that colour then changes as it as it moves across these colours in here change a bit into this bit some nice uh, areas of colour and there's another fir tree there bring that up a little bit more that area wind's picking up sun's in and out typical day for plein air painting in the landscape let's get some colours in at the top here now see now it's just completely changed now since I just last looked at it this area There's a hard, slightly harder line up there. These are like these, uh, I'm not sure what they are, conifers. I've seen Anne An Hathaway's uh, cottage that is, around this area here. That's quite dark on the top of that. That's gone very dark in there now. And that, yeah, that's quite a nice edge, a nice dark edge there. Let's get that Naples yellow in with that magenta. I'm going to warm that up there, something like that, because I want that to glow a bit more as the sun's just catching that there. 
run this across the top place this in here this is like a lemon yellow and I'll put a bit of medium in there to just get the paint to flow across the top of what's already on there so this, this is welcome hills up the top here that's where I used to walk the dog I still go up there now and again if we bring the dog with us not with me on this trip So that's the fields at the top there. It's a nice bright, lovely bright green in here. So I'm gonna, that's those trees. I'm gonna drop this in here. Quite like that. Lighten a couple of areas of these trees here. Not too many, but. Actually, I'm starting to fiddle a bit now. Just put a couple of the rooftops in. A bit of cadmium red into that uh, Indian red and a bit of Naples yellow, I think. A bit of medium into the paint. So we want to just drop a few rooftops in here. Nothing too specific. Sort of like oranges, these are like rooftops, just hinting at rooftops and things. I'm just going to drop that in like that. There's a few there's some white buildings and things. Then let's just, let's just have a look at this bit and let's drop that down into there. A hint of one behind there, right? Let's get this foreground sorted. We want plenty of that. Let's have a look at putting some of this on here. That's nice, that's better. Let's just get this lightened up. So thick paint with medium, plenty of medium in it as well. That's the thing when you're painting the oils, you are coming from water-based paint, don't be frightened to put the paint on thick, you've got, you've got to learn to just put it on thicker. Yeah, don't be frightened of the paint. pale green running through here. I'm just wondering what to do with this bit. I'll just put a hint of a track. Something like this over the side. Woodpecker, They're laughing at me over here. You see, I'm going to just place in it. I don't overpaint what I've already got too much. I can't like what we've done. I'm just going to put a bit of this uh, yellow here, which will go nicely against that. That's too much. Nick that off. This is the uh, mistletoe. You see. Which was the idea of painting this scene in the first place to get these in. I can't like this. Might we'll have to bring another one out, I think. Let's add a bit of just a bit of violet into that sap green there. We'll use that as a shadow for the mistletoe. I'm just gonna flick a few of these. There's some trees just popping up through here. I might just, I quite like this actually. I'm not going to touch that. I like how it's come out. What we'll do is just put a few darker areas. Into these uh, branches now coming across like this. Yeah, we need to just 
looking at that now. This needs to just go a bit darker, some of these uh, foreground areas. Well, it's going too dark. It should be able to mix with that. Dragging this uh, sort of dryish brush through this with the violet, it's quite works quite well actually. Quite like that. Let's just drop a bit of that up into there. Change the angle a little bit. It's so not so straight. Right. And it's got that nice dark in there. Just drop that back in. There's a, on the top of that one. And down here. I quite like that. I can't really see because it's sun again. It's not, I haven't got my cap. The sun is right on the in my right eye. I think we'll uh, call that as finished. So what we've been painting for about 45 minutes, so longer than I thought. Right, we'll have a look at that close up now. Right, that's what we ended up with. It was about 45 minutes of painting. Uh, I have to say it was really good fun. Diggers weren't a problem. No, not too noisy. The sun was a bit of a problem on the palette for a while as it angled across and uh, the board I'm painting onto was uh, not in the sun so the, the colour mixing was quite difficult. Yeah good fun so that's uh, oh, one thing I forgot to put in look so I just noticed I forgot to put the monument in so we'll do that and then we'll uh, bid you farewell. Right so the monument is roughly here so just get the rigger little mark and there it is that's the monument. Right well that's uh, that's our landscape painting for today, 45 minutes or so, oils on board, nice landscape looking over towards the uh, Welcome Hills, Stratford-on-Avon, and uh, bypassing the uh, building work that's going on just down there below me. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed that one, I really enjoyed painting it, uh, quite windy, sun was in and out, but that's just plein air painting for you, that's the way it goes. You have to put up with these things. At least we've got no insects this time of year. It might be winter but yeah, and cold, but we've got no insects to worry about, things like that. And I've not seen a single soul. I've been here about an hour. Nobody's walked past. I'm right on the footpath. And we used to walk the dogs along here when I was a kid. And all that's changed down there now. Used to be really nice orchards over there, but I'm not going to reminisce too much to make you all sad. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye for now.